So welcome back guys. On the last video I mentioned that we were about to embark on a chicken coop project. Well, here it is. Here's our chicken coop in kind of the raw form, I guess. These are the logs, or these are some of the logs. I don't think this will get all the materials that we need. But these are some of the logs that were left over from the uh, shed build project that we did. And uh, there's no use to letting these go to waste. So I figure we'll saw these up and get some of the materials that we need from the, uh, or for the chicken coop project. So here's my cut list of the materials that I need and we're going to go ahead and start from the base which makes the most sense. We'll start with the foundation materials first and for the foundation I'm going to need two uh, 14 foot 2 by 6s and 13 12 foot 2 by 6s and this is based on a 12 by 14 building and that could change if I decide to change my mind at some point before we actually start building but if I do change it I'll probably only make it a little bit smaller not bigger so all the materials or all the the um, dimensions that I have on here it'll get me there if I decide to shrink it or not so let's go ahead and get to cutting and uh, we'll get our 15 2 by 6s I wanted to show you all this and I haven't looked at the footage but y'all may have seen this in the last shot but look at this this is one of the perils of running a camera and a sawmill at the same time this is the kind of stuff that happens let's look at it from the other side I hope that y'all can see that it's kind of tough to get in here with the GoPro with the microphone but you can see this thing stopped maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch away from this roller and I think it actually scratched the roller some I didn't plow into it thankfully so the blade is not destroyed I'm gonna keep going and that'll tell us uh, if it's damaged at all so whew, that was just a stroke of luck that, it, that I accidentally or that I managed to stop right before that happened because I wasn't paying attention to that at all
that was actually a pretty small log, but it actually made a lot of wood for us. So here's what we got out of that. This is one, two, three true two by sixes and one one by four up here. And we can take this one by four and cut it down to actually it's a one by six. We can cut it down to one by four and make lathing with it. So we've got we've got three two by sixes and they're very very long this is about a 17 foot log but that's fine it's better to have it too long than too short so um yeah we're in good shape so far let's go ahead and keep cutting let's get another log Let's look at this log really quick before we keep cutting here. So what I need out of this is a six inch cant and a six inch cant would go to right there. And that leaves a whole bunch of waste right here. Well, there's actually another two by six hiding right here in this slab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a smaller amount right here to get the slab off to get a good flat side here then i'm going to go down two inches and make a two inch board right here it'll basically be a slab because it'll have two live edges on it and then what we'll do is we'll trim up that edge while we're cutting the rest of this log i'll, I'll show you I, we can get a two by six out of this a good true two by six and have one extra piece out of this log so i'll show you how i can do that This actually would have been a little bit easier if I had flipped the whole log a quarter of a turn instead of 90 degrees, instead of one full turn. We've been a little bit less handling, but it'll work this way as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that two inch slab that I just made, and I'm just gonna put it right there on the mill. And then I'm gonna bring the big camp back in, and that'll kind of act as a clamp. adjust the log stops and now we can edge this slab the beauty of doing it this way is that this cant right here is not down to where i want it yet it's not down all the way to six so we're actually going to end up putting this one at six at the same time we put this main cant at six as well so it actually saves some steps it saves some handling i don't have to take stuff on and off the mill just a little bit easier By doing that, I've done a couple of things at once. I have made this two by six right here, one complete true two by six. 
and I have brought my cant down to six inches so that I can flip it up and start getting the rest of my two by sixes. So it makes it a little more efficient. That turned out really good. That log ended up giving us five true two by sixes. There's one, two, three, four right here. Plus there's a one by down here that I might can use for lathing. I haven't really looked at it that close. This top log or top board rather in this piece have got a fair amount of weighing on them, but I believe that they're both still usable. So pretty good yield from that log, I would say. So that gives us eight total two by sixes, a couple of one bys. That means we only need about seven more two by sixes is to get the foundation complete so we're in pretty good shape not my day for the grapple Missed him. That was a carpenter bee coming for lunch. Unfortunately, I missed him. He'll be back. I was hoping that this log would be the log that we could get our final seven boards out of just in one shot here because this log is uh, about 15. Just about 15 on this end. Unfortunately, this is the large end and it tapers pretty bad. It's actually 11 and a half, 11 and a half to 12 on that end. So I'll just do the best I can.
So I'm happy to report that I actually did get seven two by sixes out of that log. I was kind of surprised. I wasn't quite expecting. I expected it to be like six or something like that. Just I was going to need like one more from some other log. But I did it by using that method that I showed you earlier, except I kind of did it twice. I got that two inch slab off of one side of the log and then I flipped it and I got the same two inch slab off of the other side of the log. And that left me with a very, very straight cant with two sides. Sides, a straight six inch cant that had two very wide clear straight sides on it and that allowed me to get a whole bunch of two by sixes out of this that have very little weighing a couple of these boards have got a little bit of weighing on them but nothing nothing to speak of these are some really really nice really really super nice two by sixes so that completes everything that we need for the foundation of this chicken coop you saw me on the last video cut those two by six excuse me those six by six and four by four timbers out of that cedar tree i've been brushing those with that nasty treatment stuff that i I uh, mixed up. I've also been sticking them down in the bucket to kind of let the capillary action in those six by sixes a wick up into the log at the at the advice of a couple of commenters. So thank y'all for that. And uh, those should be good to go here in a few days. So my plan here is to get started on this next week. My plans very rarely work out, but hopefully we'll be able to get a foundation on this chicken coop next week. Today is Wednesday um so hopefully monday or tuesday we can start putting the foundation up and for anybody wondering how long these boards need to dry before i use them well about a week <laughs> i'm not gonna dry them i'm just gonna put them up green and uh and see what happens i, I expect it to be just perfectly fine so anyhow that's gonna do it for this video i appreciate y'all watching and i will see y'all on the next one